Hey guys, just a quick point out. This is finally Saturday. The final come has come around, and this is where you can watch all my videos today. Loads of videos coming for you, so stay tuned. Get a blanket. You can watch them anytime, anywhere. Make sure you comment and subscribe and like. Let's get into it. Hey guys, so um, yeah, this video is my what is inside of my pencil case. So this is the pencil case I take to school with me, and it's one of the videos I've been planning for a while, but I've just sort of thought I would do one next year as well, because uh, I probably would have changed my pencil case by then, and I'd be up in upper school, which was like a big school, I guess. Don't know what to put. So let's get into it. So. First thing I have is this like cute mini rubber and sharpener in one. So as you can see, there's the rubber. I've used it quite a lot, so this stuff might be quite dingy. But then also the sharpener as well comes on the bottom. So it's like it's like an all-in-one, so you don't have to carry two separate things around with you. And it's just really like um, really cool as well as well. So, those. I've got these really cute neon highlighters, so yellow, pink, green, and blue, and these are erasable ones. Um, I've used these quite a lot as well, so I need to get some more of these. But these are just two in one, really cute erasable highlighters. So you don't need to, like, if you were to highlight something in orange, you can just. Um, highlights and then if you get it wrong, wrong you can use the other side to sort of like rub it out without making any mistakes. Next I've got these really um, really cool colouring pencils. Um, they're not Santon ones in case you guys are quite thin. I've used these quite a lot as well but these are by Crayola and they do need to sharpen but you get Quite a lot of them, yeah. One, two, three. Nine of them. It looks really cool. Um, but these are just really cool colouring pencils, and I like them. Um, so you'll have to stay tuned. You'll need to pick some of them up because they are just really cool. So next, I've got this, um, just like a spare rubber. It's in like the shape of a love heart. Nothing really, like, special, I guess. But it's in the shape of a love heart. So, I'll be back in just one minute. So, like I said, nothing really special. It's just like a spare one in case this one, uh, like, I've used it all up. I guess... Then I've got these two Sharpie markers, one in like this really gorgeous like ocean blue and then one in, in these gorgeous purples. I love purple and blue. Purple and blue are like, like the cutest colours to be together. Like they match really well. So Sharpie. I've got two of them. Then I've got a scientific calculator and it tells you like different like things in the case i got one in blue you, you can get one pink as well and it doesn't have to be casio it can be a different other calculator but as long as it's scientific i don't know whether like i don't know whether casio is the only brand that are scientific i i do i swear you can get like other ones as well but i'm not too sure so you'll have to bear with me on this one but yeah, it's like really cool they are quite big as well, which I guess is a good thing. But then, yeah. Then I've got a hairband in my pencil case just in case of like PE and I don't have my hair up. Um, like I don't have my hair up before I go to school. I can do it at school. If makes any sense. Then I've got. A pencil which I've been using for quite a while, it does need sharpening but it's getting really small. And then just like an art pencil which 
it's not for art. Like, it's not especially designed for art. You can use it for, like, other, like, things as well. Um, but it is just sort of designed for pencils. Um, also, I am going to put this in my pencil case as well. It's just a One Direction ruler for smaller things, just because, like, Instead of having, having to go in my bag every time to get a ruler, I can use one of those ones. But before we go on to it, I just want to quickly show you something. I've got this Massa box, um, and it's really cool. It comes in very handy, so I would definitely recommend getting a Massa box. Okay, next I've got two black pens, which I wanted to get in the habit of writing in black, not blue or black or red. Like at my old school, we weren't allowed to write in black. Uh, <laughs> we weren't allowed to write in red or green. Like teachers normally marked in red or purple. Like some other teachers, I had marked in purple and red, and sometimes green. So we, we were only allowed to write in black or blue, which I guess they are the only two colors that make your work really neat, I guess. So two black pens, and then also a green pen as well to mark in, so like if you want to change anything. And also it's for DIT as well, so it's basically, DIT is basically where you swap over your books and you mark someone else's book. So it is if you know basically marking someone else's book, but in a green pen, not the same colour that they wrote in. So if they wrote in blue, you you probably won't we we're not allowed to mark in blue unless it's really the only colour we have, like in English. My uh teacher, if you don't have a green pen, uh, normally he'll just give you any colour to mark in, so, like, my friends managed to mark in purple, and I think it was a blue as well, I can't, I can't remember what colours, but it's cool as well. So this stuff it's okay, fashion, stationery, I did forget to link it in the description of my, um, last video, but it's fashion, it's fashionstationery.com, um, Definitely go and check it out because they've got some gorgeous stuff in there. Um, which, is why, which is where I found this one from, fashionstationery.com. Um, it's just great. I think I need a new one as well because it's sort of falling apart. But I'll probably get another one I got to upper school because that's when I start my GCSE. So it'll be like, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and a and comment and also subscribe as well. I'm going to edit this video and then I will be able to do one more video before I run out of storage space. So I'm going to wait a while after my next video because hopefully my first video which is currently uploading it shouldn't be that long so then i'll be able to get back into filming so two more things i can take off my list i've done um xbox game collection what's my bag and also what's my pencil case so not much more videos to do guys if i think of any more i will then add it to my list but my room tour might take a while because now as some of you guys know, I can upload longer than 15 minutes, which was my Minecraft videos will be able to be longer. So I can make them more exciting for you, because every time I'm like looking at the time, because if I go over 15 minutes, I have to redo it. But now I can just go on for as long as I want. But, it, but the problem is, if I do it for too long, it will take forever to upload. So you will probably have to bear with me on that. Um, but... Hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and comment. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. Bye!